Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here, enjoying a morning out on Daytona Beach. You know, there's a problem with guns in England. The problem is that there's not enough of them in the hands of good people. A very disturbing report this morning says that several Brits were savagely murdered by Jihad Muslims yesterday, and the victims had nothing to defend themselves with but chairs. And believe it or not, if this report is correct, the British police ran away because they too were unarmed. Think about that. Police officers running away because they were unarmed. Now London is my favorite city in the world and I am grieved by this bloodshed. Years ago, the British disarmed their citizens and their police officers, and then the same government opened the floodgates to allow the most violent false religion in the world to come stampeding into England. Gee, what could possibly go wrong there? And now, the Muslims are killing the citizens of England. <laughs> who could have seen that coming? Oh, anyone who had been listening to the Muslims shouting death to England and openly declaring that they were going to kill British citizens and the historical fact that Islam has been killing Europeans for 1,200 years and that Islam fully intends to continue killing Europeans until Europe is fully submitted to Islam. Islam makes no secret of its plan for massive continuous bloodshed and the British government knows this full well. Well, here's a wild bill bullet of truth. The government that is foolish enough to strip away the tools that its citizens need to adequately defend their families is a government that is morally obligated to be there at the very moment those citizens need to be protected. And the government that cannot be there at that exact moment has no authority to deny a man the tools he needs to defend his family. And to the arrogant members of British Parliament with their suicidal, politically correct nonsense, I'm going to be brutally honest. If you're going to just surrender your nation to Islam, you should have just surrendered to the Nazis. Your political correctness is an insult to the courageous British citizens of World War II who did defend their nation. The monsters of Islam are there to stay. You let them in, and now you'll never be rid of them. It's time for the citizens of England to do what their government will not, defend their families against murderous invaders. It's time for concealed carry handguns in England. It's time for the jihad monsters to learn that the people of England will no longer play the role of helpless victim. And here's a little known fact. British law does allow for its citizens to possess and use firearms for self-defense. The founding documents of English government recognize the God-given right to self-defense. Graham Moore of Motivate Radio has researched this and has the documentation to prove it. Now I'm sure some poorly informed Brits will criticize me saying that they don't want to turn England into the wild, wild west. Well, I have two things to say to that. Number one, Islam is turning your nation into a killing field. And two, I was a lawman in the American West for 20 years and never had a problem like what you're facing in England today. So I suggest that the people of England tune in and listen to Graham Moore's show on Motivate Radio. And then get with me. We need to set up a new export business. Colt 45s for England. And I already have an idea for a billboard. 45 Colts stops jihad on contact. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again.